know, I'm ready. I don't know about We're you. Recording. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back. So if you're planning to sell a property for $5 million or more in the city of LA, expect to pay a minimum of $200,000 or more in transfer taxes alone. This week, the United to House LA measure, or the mansion tax, was voted into law. What exactly is it? It's a 4% tax on all properties sold above $5 million or more, and a 5.5% tax on properties sold $10 million or more. When we say all property, we're talking about single family residences, apartments, commercial buildings, parking lots, restaurants, retail centers. All right, so how did this all come to be? Well, in January 2022, a coalition of labor unions sought out to gain at least 65,000 signatures but ended up getting 98,000. So LA City Council voted 14-0 in favor of landing the measure on this year's ballot which has now passed. The coalition that brought this measure to ballot is made up of 143 different groups including Move LA and the North Hollywood Home Alliance. These are nonprofit organizations whose cause is to heal the serious homelessness issue we have here in LA. LA's Director of Alliance for Community Transit, Laura Raymond, said that the tax revenue raised will also fund the internal oversight of how these tax dollars will be spent. All right, so let's talk about some pros related to this measure. This measure will create 26,000 homes for people experiencing homelessness. It is believed that it will affect another 69,000 people over the next decade. So as well as keeping 475,000 at-risk renters in their homes. The initiative is also expected to generate some 800 to 900 million a year to help subsidize housing, preserve a affordable homes, guaranteeing counsel to tenants in eviction court, and subsidize other progressive priorities. Now let's talk about some cons. So neither of our candidates for mayor have backed this measure. Karen Bass, including Rick Cruz, will have their own plans to combat homelessness. In 2016, a proposition known as Triple H was also voted into law. Measure Triple H allowed for $1.2 billion in funds to go to building some 10,000 units to support housing for the homelessness in LA. When it was voted into law, a unit of housing cost around $300 150000 to make, but now that cost has swelled up to over 600000 per unit. Opposition to this measure include many organizations such as the Apartment Association of Greater LA, the Black Business Association, and the California Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. This may get passed down and directly affect the middle class because prices will increase on apartments, groceries, food, and more to absorb the cost. One city councilman has proposed a measure that will require LA to prioritize emergency temporary shelter as opposed to permanent housing production. This measure would make street encampments illegal across the city if there's enough shelter offered. But in the meantime, measure ULA has passed and these taxes will go into effect starting April 2023. So this measure, also known as a matching tax amongst Beverly Hills realtors, could potentially slow down the market and continue to cause people to move out of California because they're sick and tired of paying already high taxes. So if you have a property $5 million or more and you're looking to sell it, you should probably do it before April of 2023 or you're going to see this 4% plus transfer tax added on to your closing statements. Are you guys for or against this measure? Do you think this is going to benefit most people? Hit me in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching.